Once Upon a Time podcast, Season 1, Episode 20, The Stranger. In this episode, well, August takes Emma on a journey that will show her how to beat Regina and perhaps gain custody of Henry. Meanwhile, Regina tries to seduce David. Ooh, scandal! I'm your host, Molly Southgate, and with me is... Martha Southgate. And... Rob Southgate. I love this show, didn't you? Yes. Oh my gosh. I know. This was This one was awesome. really the effects yeah. were outrageous. Yeah. yeah, this was another one of these like The Pinocchio effects. Yes. That was just awesome. There there are so many of them that like if you rated them, they'd be like three and a half stars, and then every once in a while they hit a four star. This was a four star. This out was of four? amazing. Yeah, out of four. Okay, you were out of seventy five. That's no, kind right. of right. So you weren't real clear. Okay, now I'm being clear. So, five, four and a half out of five. So I thought it was funny when it started, August installed a new lock on Mary <laughs> Margaret's front door, and he <laughs> says, it's medieval chic. Yeah, yeah, that lock was hilarious, because they uh-huh. were putting a lock on it, and it was, it was the big bolts and the big piece of wood. I thought that was really funny, because of course, that's what he would use. Right. Yeah. And she, and uh, Emma said, how did you learn how to do that as a writer? You yeah. know, how did you learn how to work with wood and How to do that, yeah, that? yeah. Well, and, and then Mary Margaret is talking to Emma, and we didn't talk about this in the last episode, but she asks her about how she thinks she's going to be getting Henry away from Regina. Yeah, because in the, the we last... We didn't say yeah. it, but in the last one, she did say, yeah. I'm going to take Henry. Yes. She's going to get custody. She Henry. also asks her if she's ready. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think she's ready to take Henry? Uh, I don't... Maybe. I think that it, she needs to because Regina is so horrifying. Uh-huh. Right. And she'll, like. And we, we don't want Henry mm-hmm. with her. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, Emma's not really. Um, well, she's responsible and everything. Mm-hmm. I think that, that she is ready, mm-hmm. but I think that she's not completely ready because of what we saw in this episode. Yeah. She is living in denial about things. Uh-huh. Once she pulls that together. Then she can embrace it and she can take over with Henry. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Yeah, it'll be interesting yeah. to see what. Well, we know what came. I mean, oh, she's oh, not boy. really showing that she's that she's very mature. You know, that she's actually right, right, able right. to handle based on her actions at the end. But. So one of the things at the beginning I thought was cool is August talking to Emma says he wants to take her on an adventure, mm-hmm. and he's going to take her and show her something. Mm-hmm. I, at this point, we didn't know exactly what was going on. Yeah. And what did, did you have any ideas on what, it, what kind of, what he'd be taking her to to show her? I, I, I Nothing? did not know, really. I thought that he was going to take her to maybe where the portal was. He like, did after. Well, he did, but now I wasn't thinking that portal. I was thinking however the curse worked. Right. Like, cause we know it's in the mine. I thought he was going to show her where the broken glass was. Yeah, I don't know. But, well, when Henry called Emma with the code red. Yeah. And said, that, red. you know, there, there was an emergency. And, and when she got to the diner, he said the book was changed. Someone mm-hmm. added to the book. Now we all know it was August because yeah. he had the book and we watched mm-hmm. him. We watched him doing something. I thought he was copying the pages. it, but he was yeah. adding to it. And he said, mm-hmm. it's not finished. He said it's about Pinocchio, but the story isn't finished yet. Yeah. And and then in August's room, Pinocchio's hat yes uh-huh. was in there, and, and he was oh like yes, touching. that's when we knew clearly who August is. Uh-huh. And he calls Mister Gold and says, "I need to talk to you. There's a problem with Emma." Right. Mm-hmm. So there very is. interesting storyline. There's now, a problem with Emma. Now another interesting thing that happened here is he started to fall over again. Yes, and. Fell onto his bed, and when he lifted up his pant leg, what was wrong with his leg, Mom? It was wooden. It yeah. was turning to wood. That, that was the coolest. Was effect. fantastic. Uh, actually, I should say it's the coolest effect because no, the way the way along. Oh yeah, that. Oh. yeah. Uh-huh. But this was really Him cool. all completely wooden as a boy. That was the that was effect. amazing. Right. So he goes over to Mr. Gold's shop because he they need to have a talk about Emma. Right. And Geppetto was in there. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, you know Gold set that one up. And he was buying a, a clock, like a big clock. The same clock they worked up. They yes. Together. Yes. And the same one that at the end Geppetto was working on. And 
well, I'm going to call him Pinocchio at this point, says to him how to fix it. Yeah. I thought that was just really well done. It was really yeah, cool. Was sweet. And but but Mr. Gold was doing this. He's like, oh, you uh, you would think somebody who's you know been away this long would have something to say to his father. Somebody yeah, who's, who's dying, sick. yeah, who's mm-hmm. sick, would have something to say to his father. So he called him out yeah. for being Pinocchio. Mm-hmm. But they already, I think they already knew. No, that. oh, no, okay. they hadn't established that yet because it was during this episode when it did the flashback and it showed them on the raft and everything that we went. Yeah, he is Pinocchio, and then it showed him with the hat. That was where they really revealed it. In the last episode with Mr. Gold and August, he didn't know who he was. We hadn't seen the wooden leg or anything yet. So that was well, that was exciting to get all of that. August convinces Mr. Gold to thwart Emma's attempts to get custody. Right. Because it will send her running to, to August for help. So it worked. Yeah, yeah. She goes right to August, yeah. in fact. And uh and he, he she says she goes to him and says, show me the big picture. Right. But then she doesn't even want to believe it. Right. Well, okay, think about it. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> if, I if just she's want saying, to believe show me the it. big picture. If the big picture is you're the daughter of two fairy tale characters, and it's a little hard to believe. And, you and, you've, come, up a, a, and you've caught, and you were born out of. Showed up, up through a portal through a tree. Right, and that you were what, the seven-year-old boy. you would have a hard boy. time? Would you have a hard time with that? Uh-oh, we better not tell her the truth then. So when we walk mm-hmm. out and I show you in the yard the hole in the tree that you were born out of? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I have the scar to prove where yeah. you were, oh. you were born out of. Um, <laughs> so August tells Emma... That he was the seven-year-old boy who right. found her on the side of the road mm-hmm. when she was a baby. Well, and he takes her to the diner that she was taken to as a baby, mm-hmm. which I thought that was cool. She pulls up and she starts yelling at him, I'm not a character in your book. Why are you doing this? And he's like, look, it was me. Yes. And it was you. And he had the newspaper clipping, but he knew details that weren't in yeah, it. Yeah, about like her blanket and that. Then he takes her out to the woods. Shows her the hole in the tree. Yes. She where the still keys doesn't out, believe. So I thought this Wait, was crazy. What? The Keebler Elves. The Keebler Elves. They were making cookies. It's a company. It's a, it's a commercial. Yep. And and uh, he falls over again, and he's like, he goes to prove it, and he pulls his pant leg up, and we see the wooden leg, but what does she see? She sees just a regular leg. Right. So what's up with that? How How is she ever going to believe this? He said, oh my gosh, you just, just don't want to believe it. That's why you're not believing it. Yeah, that is crazy. Well, I, and the whole time, that whole scene, I'm yelling, show her your leg. Right, right. Show her your leg. And then he did. And it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Well, my favorite line was when, when he says, you're our only hope. And she says, then you're all screwed. (laughs) Right. Yeah, that, she is not, at this moment, until she believes, she's not the savior of this. Mm -mm. No, sorry. And then August goes to see Geppetto. In this world, in Storybrook, yes. and he tells him how to fix the clock. Right. And he asks if he can be his assistant. And mm-hmm. he said, "I just feel, I just feel like fixing things." And now, that when he was said that, sweet, what do you think he meant? Scene that he wants to fix clocks. No, he wants to be with his father. Yeah. Right. He wants to fix relationships, doesn't mm-hmm. he? I feel there so bad has, for him. He already had such a good relationship. Right, but right, not but, at this but point. But he doesn't know. Geppetto doesn't Geppetto know Geppetto doesn't him. know he's Geppetto and doesn't know who he is. Geppetto doesn't know he's Pinocchio. It, right. No, Geppetto doesn't know he's Geppetto. Oh, right. He, he's Mr. He's Dr. Hopper's friend. He's right. just a guy yeah, who, he doesn't know any who of it. fixes clocks there. So a imagine if you were older and I didn't even recognize you, know who you were. I thought I was somebody different. And you, you, it would be terrible. It's so tragic. And what, that's why he's feeling that way. Mm-hmm. And he says, I want to repair this. I want to mm-hmm. fix things. Yeah. Yeah. What did he see in Geppetto's wood workshop? He saw his, the whale he turned as a kid. Yes. Yeah. That was really mm-hmm. cool. That was, and then the clock that he, that he and his dad worked on in, yeah. in the, and that was fairy what tale he was land. Working on. The one that, that, that he, he had, had Jiminy Cricket trapped yeah, in. Yeah, that's Rotten funny. Pinocchio. I like when that happened when he had him trapped in, the blue fairy shows up. He's like, "I was just scooping around. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to be bad." <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, Let's talk about a, a little bit about Regina's storyline. Yeah, Regina's. So she goes nasty. to the school uh-huh. yeah. to talk to Henry, and she sees Mary Margaret. Yep. 
And I loved how Mary Margaret handled this yes. scene. And I always tell people to do this when they have bullies or things. Just look at them and say, I am so sorry. Right, I'm so sorry that dishonest. your life is so miserable that you feel like you need to make other people miserable. I feel very sorry for you. Well, you know, that's the key very is sad. that she did it very in a very sincere way. Of course. Way. But you, but, but well, because it, people could do it and mean it like, oh, I'm so not sorry. Not sarcastically, but, but, but to meant really it. see that these people are victims themselves and, and they're very unhappy. Oh, it, it set her sent her really because she right. couldn't even she was just kind of standing there and it was she was not expecting that kind of oh no she reaction and uh so she talks to henry and this is one of my favorites okay scenes, lay it but, on us um he says well you you know you framed her and and he, and she looks at him and says do you really believe i could frame someone and he goes of course i do you're the evil queen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i died I just died laughing. Right, I love that he just outright tells her she's the evil queen all the time. <laughs> of course yeah. I do. You're the evil queen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he tells her. He has a very nice speech in this. Yes, in this and scene. he's like, you're not putting me in that class. Mm -hmm. I'm not switching teachers. This is all going to be fixed because you're wrong. Yeah. Well, and he and says. And it wasn't like a bratty kid or anything. No. I mean, he knows what's up. He just and knows he, right from wrong. He's just at first she denies it, it. At first she's like, "Oh, Henry, this is ridiculous." But by the end, she's yeah. not saying anything, which means yeah. that you know her silence is as good as admission. Yeah. Well, he says Snow White will have her happy ending. They are meant to be together. She and Prince Charming are going to be together, no matter what people try to throw right. at them. And and he says. Good will win. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just loved that. His little speech there I thought was fantastic. So the next it really time we is, see... If you think it says good will, good will win. Yes. It, it's good space will space win. Yeah. Right. Why did you say that? Because it sounds like good will win. Oh, I see. Like one word. Good right, will. Right. Like the store. Like good will like, hunting. Yeah. So the next time we or see... Or Jennifer Goodwin. The next time we see Regina, she's having car trouble. Well, supposedly having yeah, car right. trouble. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. We've seen her with the car trouble before. She has created quite an elaborate plan to get David into her spider yes. web. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so she says, oh, my groceries. Oh, oh my rocky road is oh. melting. And he and says, I will give you a ride home. And then she tries to get him to stay for dinner and say, oh, I have... So much for I'm going to make lasagna. Well, and of course, lasagna is elaborate and everything, so she's really working this guy. And, and then she has the fake, fake note. Oh, my gosh. It just says, Mom, and there's nothing written on the inside. Right. Really, lady? And she's like, oh, look, a note from Henry. He's not going to come home. And I was going to make that lasagna. She totally she's awful. plays on his sympathy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just alone. It's okay. I'll just He doesn't like me. He doesn't spend time with me. And... David felt mm -hmm. terrible. So right, of yes. course. Well, he's a nice guy. Yeah. So she fed him lasagna and then tells him the story about how she found him. Uh -huh. I wonder if the lasagna was good. And lasagna do we believe good, her yeah. story in any way? No. No. And then what did she do? What, what did she what do? Did she do oh, in the she kitchen? tried to kiss him. Tried to kiss I him? Like, I, 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 yeah. I think he went, a ball. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he went, a ball. But you're my girlfriend's mom, even though she doesn't know it. Do you yeah. remember what, do you remember what he, uh, what he said to her after she tried to kiss him? Listen, lady, you smell he like said, apples. He said, you know what? This is great, just like it is. Yeah, right. He doesn't want anything to do no. with this. She tried. You got to hand it to her. The evil queen tries. So there you go. She was thwarted again. Yes, which is great. So what else do we want to talk about? We want to talk about, I want to go back to the fairy tale land. All right, you do it. Take this, it and run. I thought, was one of the best fairy tale I lands. Agree. And there have been some great ones. Mm -hmm. I think that has been really great yes. in this. But this one, when we saw Geppetto on the boat with, or on the raft with Pinocchio, and Pinocchio, the effects were so cool. He's sitting there yelling at his dad, you know, Papa, Papa. But he was the wooden boy. And then uh -huh. the whale. <sighs> now, what did you say about the whale, Molly? Do you have a whale of a tail to tell us? Oh. It, Shall we say it, shanties? No. It was only in the movie it was a whale. It really was a shark. 
I did book. not know that. Now, you read that in what? In Grimm's Sis- Fairy Tales? Or? Sisters Grimm. Oh, they talked and about they it And they actually, there. like, do the accuracy, and Rumpelstiltskin didn't pull his himself limb from limb. Guess what? He blew up. Uh, oh. In the Brothers Grimm book, he he did not. Yeah, but he, they tell... Their great aunt Matilda Grimm wrote about that. I think that's true. I think that's real. I okay. don't know. Who knows? Who We're going to read all the different ones and see mm-hmm. which one yes. we think. But I don't know that Sisters Grimm is accurate. But you said, no, was the shark one, that was from Sisters Grimm, though. Yes, that's accurate. Okay. Accurate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to find out. We'll find but out. this mm-hmm. was more like the Disney whale. He even looked like a live-action version that of the Disney amazing. whale. That was amazing. And yes. so did Pinocchio. Yeah. Yes. It was like a live-action version. He was version. fantastic. And what about when Pinocchio was washed up on the shore? Geppetto oh, that, is safe. That was but sad, and Pinocchio was wood, was wood and... He was all wood and petri- didn't talk like, or anything? Yeah, no. He, he I thought he was dead because he wasn't mm-hmm. talking or, you know, he was face down. I thought he turned back into wood. Like, right, he did. Yeah, he just went What solid. did the Blue Fairy tell him after she turned him into a real boy? What, did, what were the three things... Being brave, mm-hmm. unselfish, and not lying. Yeah, right. truthful. And what was, do you think August was doing a good job of all three of those no. things? Not so much. Not so much. But he, you know what I liked is. And then at the end, uh, towards the end when he was taking Emma, he was actually being a little more truthful. Oh, yes. Right, right. He's mm-hmm. redeeming himself now. Right, well, he, he knows that he wasn't. He said. I wasn't where I was supposed to be when when Emma turned twenty eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and I wasn't doing the things I'm supposed to be, and now I'm paying the price. He's getting that wooden leg. Yeah. Uh huh. So I thought that was really really amazing. And it's going up higher than the leg because he was clutching oh, yeah. his his uh, abdomen. Yes. So it's it, the wood is spreading. Yep. Yep. Now pretty soon we're gonna have to call him old wooden butt. Geppetto finds Jiminy Cricket tied up in the clock. That yes. was funny. <laughs> and the but Jim- Jiminy was funny because he Geppetto was mad at Pinocchio, but when he got out, Jiminy Cricket goes, "You know what? If it wasn't if I wasn't so stuck in there, I'd be laughing at this too. It's right. hilarious." So it wasn't that, that Pinocchio was really being bad. They were playing he was around. Just goofing around. Yeah. Right. And so the Blue Fairy comes to Geppetto, and what does he want him to do? He. What does the Blue Fairy ask Geppetto to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, this to is make important. a wardrobe for Emma, and he says Pinocchio has to come. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, that was just the it. the Blue Fairy Only says, two could fit in that wardrobe. And she wants Snow White to go in. Right, she wanted Snow White and the prince to go in. No. Yes, but, yes. And then not when, the prince. The prince could go She did not ever say the prince. She oh, said I thought it was Snow, Snow White. White and the baby, because the baby needs her mother. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And and they and then uh, Ha-ha, they were supposed. Well, to no, no. Tell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back because that that's not true. At the, it at is the absolutely no. I'll tell you true. why not. Because when Emma wasn't being born by the time they were sending him, so it was going to be Snow White and Geppetto was angling for Pinocchio to go. But I think originally she was thinking the prince and Snow White were going to go because Emma wouldn't have been born. So that would just be, that would be the two. Nope. You're sure? It was never Snow White. It It was was, never Snow White. It was, it was, they have to be able to put the baby in there to get the baby out, away from the curse. Right. And then he said, well, they they could only send two. And he said, I'm, I'm putting Pinocchio, I will build this wardrobe. He's the only one who could build this wardrobe. Right. And he said, you have to put Pinocchio in. So the blue fairy agreed begrudgingly. Right. And then, and Jiminy Cricket kept saying, you can't do this, you can't, you know, you, you can't, you know, uh, trying to talk him out of it. Mm-hmm. When they came back to him, when the Blue Fairy came back, okay. she said the baby was born early. Right, which is why it would be Snow White and the baby going no. as the two. No, but that was that, that was at that last minute. Right, right, but who would have been the two before that? Pinocchio? Right, but if we go back <laughs> before, before Geppetto made the deal for Pinocchio, who were the two that the Blue Fairy was thinking of? None. Just Emma. She did no! Emma Snow White. No! Emma, Emma wasn't Snow born White. yet. So it would have been the Prince Emma and, and Snow, Snow White. Emma and Snow White. Emma it, and Snow White. No, no, but Emma, Emma wouldn't have been born they yet. They were waiting until Emma was born. No, she said the baby was being born early, which is why they needed the two spots to be Snow White and oh, the baby. Oh, I hate when you're right. I am so right. I hate, I hate when, when you're, you're right. right. Well, okay. get used Chase. to it. 
<laughs> so, can I just say that the... Okay, to completely deflect my embarrassment here yes. at this moment. Mm -hmm. The blue fairy looked like a party decoration. She, Why? She did always you looks see, like that. No, the dress in particular that she had on today, it was all balls of... It, she looked like those puffy decorations that are made out of paper. I didn't notice. Oh my gosh, it was hysterical. I oh, uh, I should have pointed it out while it was going on. I was noticing things, but I wasn't noticing But I that. wrote, the blue fairy looks like a party decoration. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Now that we've gotten that all hashed out. Yes, now that I'm right, I win! I that. Bam! Uh, I hate it. So, Emma, so Snow White is supposed to go with Emma in the wardrobe. Right. And Geppetto says to... Geppetto? Pinoc Geppetto. You are flustered. Geppetto, Geppetto says to Pinocchio, Yeah. You're not, we're not telling her. Right. You get in you get right in now, yep. and then you are responsible for this child. Right. And you make sure that when she's 28 years old... You convince her. Right, and that's where he screwed up because he was nowhere near. He was a bouquet. He was like, it's like a party island all the time. Just like in his yeah. story where he went and turned into a donkey, he cannot resist party island. No, he can't. Can no. you, Molly? So then Pinocchio. No, finds, you can't. Finds, uh, he comes out. Oh, that was weird when he came out of the tree uh -huh. and he sees the airplane. And yeah, he yeah. dives to the ground. Because, I mean, think of how scary that would be to be alone as a seven-year-old. And never have seen and an airplane or anything. They didn't have any those of this stuff. Land. I mean, no. it's crazy. So he here... Then... Fairy Tale Land, like, medieval times. Yes. yes. So then would the... Would he like a Coke? The uh, <laughs> tree happens again. You know, the thing uh -huh. shoots out the baby. And... Mm -hmm. uh, it and shoots out the baby. It didn't shoot out the baby. I'm going to be right about this, too. It shot out Pinocchio. No, it didn't even do that. He woke up in there, and then he came out. When he tried to go back in, it knocked him to the I ground. I know. It shot out the baby. But then the baby no. appeared in it. Yeah. The it, baby lightly. It's yeah. like those air, like the thing at the museum where you put the ball in, and it shoots up the tube. Right, like the mail tubes. You yeah, see. there you go. Okay. That's how Special happened. delivery. Shot up the baby. There's and then the it baby. started crying. Yep. And Pinocchio took it out and then put it, they went into foster care with that yes. horrible mean yeah. foster Yeah, Mr. Father. Meanie. Oh, and, yeah, uh, mean. um, okay, so then this kid in the foster home steals a lot of money. Yes. And yeah. tells Pinocchio, I have enough money for all of us to go on a bus and run away. Right. And he says, well, we have to take Emma. And the guy, the kid wouldn't let him take Emma. Right. He's like, yeah, you well, because she's a baby. baby. And but he's he like, we can't take a baby. stay. Right. Well, that's where his mistake was. And that's how he I ended up on this bad make path. him take the baby. Okay. What about the baby? I make him take the baby. What about the baby? But what, where are you getting bottles and diapers and all the things Pish, that you need? Posh. Who has to feed the babies? Was anyone lactating that could have actually fed the baby? No. So they'd have to buy bottles. If it was Pinocchio, it would be all splinters. That wouldn't be good. Right. But he wasn't splintering them. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was a real boy. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they would have issues. Oh, I hate it when you guys are right. <laughs> I hate it when you're right. So they they wouldn't have any way of taking care of a baby. Yeah. Right. That would not have been safe. And they would have been caught yeah. right away. Cause yeah, of course. You got see this a baby. kid running around with a baby. Yeah. A little seven-year-old. Uh -huh. So he left the baby there. Yeah. And that's who she ended up living with, and that's why she went on this trajectory where she wasn't real happy with her upbringing. So, yeah. Emma calls a code red at the code end red. of the episode. Code red. Code red. And what did she do with Henry? She kidnapped him and She's, That's not going to go well. She's going to... But nobody can follow her. Right. They can't follow her out except for August. Yes. He can. Mm -hmm. But, and but we he's going to be turned to wood soon. So now, you thought gonna... Henry couldn't leave, but he can. No, he's he went... redeeming himself, so he's going to go back. No, no Emma, so. the, Emma's the, the, the only one who can save him. Before. He's going to end up her coat rack. <laughs> How? Because he's going to turn to wood, and then she can just nice. have her coat on her. her... Yeah, she'll force his hands up, arms yeah. up. Yeah. That's what I would do. But, Would have been a funny position, so you always get a good giggle. Although she can't frozen. see that he's wood, so she'd have like a human just standing there petrified right. in her. Right. Um, no, he wouldn't be petrified, Mom. He would be walking around with wood. No. Yeah. I don't no, think not so. if he freezes. He was yeah. freezing up. Just like he was in the water. Right. When he when he washed right. ashore. Right. So this is not going to end well. No. Well, it, 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 yeah. Henry can leave. Emma can leave. But there's no way that they're going to leave, and that's it. 
because it's not otherwise series is over well yeah and, <laughs> you know, and there's not henry much is not to gonna about. henry is the one that's not gonna let it happen yeah because he knows she's she the savior has to be there. she has to fix this and that was the other thing in the last episode we asked about that like who's the savior why did he say that we know they refer to to emma in this episode as the savior mm-hmm. and he knows and it fairy too. Tale Land. so henry is not Gonna, he's gonna sabotage this. He's gonna never let it happen. But he did let it happen. No, he didn't. Alert! He he was stuck. But there's gonna be a point when he's gonna make her either go back or he's gonna escape and go back, and she's gonna have to come back for him. All right. So I think we I think we hit on everything that we so. wanted to hit on. I'm excited to see what happens. I don't I don't know that Henry is going to. Approve of this. Approve of this. Oh, how no. is he going to get out of it? Well, like I said, even if they go where they're going, he'll go right back. Because he's Because she'll, ha- and then she'll have to go back, and that's going to force her hand. But I don't think they're going to get that far. I think they're going to get part way, and he's going to talk her out. Something's of Something's going to stop him. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Pinocchio jumps out in front of her car. Could be. You never know. All right. Well, let's. It's like hitting a tree. All right. Well, that's it. Let's wrap this up. You can find this episode and all the past episodes of this show and our other shows at our website, which is www.southgatemediagroup.com. Right. Find us on Twitter. I'm at our Southgate Martha. You're at SMG Pods. And you can find us on Instagram and Tumblr Pinterest. and Pinterest and Facebook. Yep, Facebook. Get in the conversation with us. Uh, you can email us at southgatemediagroup at gmail.com. You can find us on iTunes and Stitcher and basically any place that you get your podcast delivered to you. If you go to SoundCloud, you can actually download them. That's something people have been asking for. So there you go. You can do it at SoundCloud. And uh, just type in Ever After Podcast and you'll find us. Um, please rate us. Please review us. It helps others find us. And it helps us out in a big way. And helps us know what you want as we go forward. Because... We're about to go into the second season. So exciting. Now we're done. I can't think of anything else we want to touch on. All right. So let's end this the way every great fairy tale ends. Happily ever after. The The end. end. If you would like to donate to help pay for this and other Southgate Media Group podcasts, simply go to our website, southgatemediagroup.com, and click on the donate button. It can be as little as a dollar or, well, as much as you want. (laughs) Help keep this fun going by supporting this and our other shows. Thanks again for listening, everyone. You're the best fans in the world.